Today, I wanna to talk about five lures that I would consider to be niche lures. These are lures that really only work under certain circumstances, certain conditions, but when they are working, they dominate. They are hard to beat. So stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. This video is brought to you by sportsmansoutfitters.com. Right now at Sportsman's Outfitters, if you use the coupon code BFHQ10, you can get 10% off any ARC fishing rod. So if you are on the market for a brand new rod, whether that's a spinning rod, a bait cast rod, whatever it may be, use the coupon code BFHQ10 to get 10% off your arc rods. There are a lot of lures on the market that I would consider to be consistent lures. Lures that you can take out onto the water, whether you're fishing a pond or a lake, and you're gonna go out there and you're typically going to catch some fish, you're at least going to get bit. You know, these are lures like a wacky rig or a Texas rig or sometimes a chatterbait. But there are certain times through the year that I have seen that if you are not throwing some of these niche lures that I'm about to show you, you aren't going to be catching near as many bass as you can be and definitely not the quality of bass that you can be. So let's go ahead and dive into the lures. The first lure is a blade bait. And I know this is a pretty old school lure, but I feel like a lot of guys don't pick up blade baits. If you have a strong blade bait bite happening on the lake, river, or pond that you are fishing, this thing cannot be beat. You're going to catch the most fish and the best quality fish on this little guy right here. Now, a blade bait to me, I've actually done several videos on the channel all about blade baits, but to me, I use it the most when that water temperature is really cold. Typically, when that water is below 50 degrees, like anywhere from almost freezing to 50 degrees, I'm always going to have a blade bait tied up. Here we go, baby! <laughs> and the big thing with the blade bait when you're fishing it in cold water is you really want to make kind of small hops on the bottom. This can be the only lure that is going to catch you fish in those cold water temperatures. Now, this bait doesn't just work in cold water. Another time of the year, kind of late summer, early fall, when you have a lot of small bait fish in your water systems, whether that's young of the year shad or even small bluegill, and the bass are feeding heavily on those little bait fish, you can actually throw a blade bait through schooling fish and catch bass on them because it really mimics that really small profile bait fish extremely well. Now, those are a few times that I know the blade bait can work really well, but I am sure that there are other times where this bait is going to work well. So all you have to do is just pick some up and start throwing them. The next niche lure is really one that honestly, I don't even really wanna talk about it. It's not like it's a really big secret, but I just feel like a lot of guys aren't picking up this particular lure. And that is a silent top water bait. Now this particular lure right here is actually a Evergreen JT 115. And if you listen to this lure, if I hold all the hooks, listen to it, absolutely nothing inside of it. And if you compare that to your regular top water bait, it has a lot of noise. This one is completely silent. I've actually used this exact top water in a couple of really big tournaments. The Bassmaster Opens on lakes such as Lake Oneida, Lake Norman, and Lake Hartwell. And I have caught a ton of bass on this particular top water bait. Here we go. Whoa. That's a better one. Now there are two situations that I throw this particular bait a lot. And the first one is going to be during the summertime when you have fish that are eating, you know, a lot of bait fish. And you have those days when you get out there on the water and it's just very calm out. There's not a lot of wind. It's very glass calm water conditions. And if you go out there and you've been throwing like a spook style bait, you know, a bait that makes a lot of noise, a lot of times on those calm days, when you throw baits like this, yeah, you might have fish come up there and eat that bait, but you run into a lot of situations where the bass just kind of hit this bait and they slap at it. They either miss it or they barely get hooked up on it. Maybe you're losing a lot of fish on it. And those are the times where I'm going to switch over to this silent bait. The thing about the silent bait as it's coming across the water, sure, it's gonna make a little bit of noise because the hooks are hitting up against the bait, but it is just something that really kind of sneaks up 
on the fish. And this particular one that I have here is kind of a translucent color. So on those sunny, calm days, not only is it sneaking up on the fish, but the fish just don't get a really good look at that bait. And a lot of times that is actually what makes them commit to this bait. Now, the other situation that I like throwing this bait is when I'm fishing top water baits in a little bit colder water. This typically happens to me kind of towards the end of fall. A lot of times at the end of fall, the bass are feeding, kind of getting ready for winter, and they will hit a top water bait really well. But in that situation with that cold water, I've just seen it where this silent bait will catch a lot more bass than your typical top water. So silent top waters, another niche lure, another one that will absolutely dominate in the right circumstances. Alrighty, niche lure number three is one that kind of got really popular several years back, but I feel like it has kind of died down since then and that is a scrounger. Now this particular scrounger here is a, a big scrounger. It's a one ounce scrounger. I got a seven inch plastic shad style bait on the back of it. This is one that I typically fish pretty deep. You know, 15, 20 foot deep is what I'm gonna fish this bait, but you don't have to buy this big old one ounce bait. Scroungers come in a lot of different sizes. I think that the one that I throw the most is either a quarter ounce or a three eighths ounce. And here's the thing is that a scrounger is kind of like a finesse chatterbait in a way. You know, a chatterbait, we all know how great a chatterbait works. I mean, it catches fish year round and it catches a lot of big fish. And a chatterbait has a really aggressive side to side action in the water. It has a lot of noise. And a scrounger is gonna move side to side. It will actually kind of wobble a lot in the water. So it puts off a little bit of a vibration, but it's not as much as a chatterbait. So when you are fishing around pressured bodies of water, sometimes this particular bait, a scrounger, will actually catch a lot more fish than a chatterbait will. Now with that being said, I typically like to fish a scrounger in a little bit cleaner water. A chatterbait will work well in clean water, but it will also work well in muddy water. And I haven't had a lot of success in muddy water with a scrounger. But if you're fishing kind of cleaner water and you are throwing a chatterbait a lot, and maybe you see a lot of other guys throwing a chatterbait, that's when I pick up a scrounger because it just has a different, more subtle vibration. And a lot of times when they get on this bite, it will absolutely dominate. Now, if you have smallmouth in your fishery that you fish a lot, definitely pick up a scrounger. There's something about this particular bait that smallmouth just really, really love. Now the fourth niche lure is another lure that is really, really special to me because I have seen days out there fishing where they will bite this bait in no other bait. And that is a spy bait. A spy bait is a really unique lure. It looks a lot like a topwater prop bait, but this bait actually sinks. This is not just a smallmouth bait. I think a lot of guys think that this is a smallmouth bait. This was actually developed by guys who fish over in Japan who fish for really big largemouth in these very clear pressured bodies of water. So there's a lot of those same types of bodies of water across the nation, clear and highly pressured. Those are the situations where I'm gonna pick up a spy bait and catch a lot of bass. Now, I think there's a lot of people out there that have not thrown a spy bait or a spin bait before, and I'm planning to do kind of a full video on this during this summer. But I think that a lot of people kind of overcomplicate this bait. All you really do is cast it out and reel it back in. Now, one thing that I will definitely recommend if you have not caught bass on a spy bait before is actually cast this bait when you see schooling fish. That's probably the easiest way to catch a bass on this bait is if you see fish that are busting even if that's in a pond but definitely on a lake throw this bait at them there are days where those bass that are busting will not hit a top water bait but they will absolutely crush this little spy bait and if you happen to fish a clear water pond as long as you can keep this kind of out of the scum and grass and nastiness this is going to be one of the best baits that you can throw in a pond. The biggest key to catching fish on this bait is figuring out what level those bass are at in the water column. If they're eight foot down, 10 foot down, whatever it may be, and then you wanna try to reel this bait just above them in that water column and they'll come up and get it. Now the fifth niche lure is absolutely one of my favorite techniques to go out and catch a bass. Literally, it's probably in my top three of techniques, period. Like I absolutely love this thing and that is 
the floating worm. It is one of the best ways to catch bass from pre-spawn to post-spawn. And I actually did a full video on the floating worm. It's a little bit of an older video, but I'm gonna link it right here. And I really go through a lot about this technique and how I go about catching fish on it. You guys will absolutely love this thing. So check out that video next. Also, don't forget to check out Sportsman's Outfitters, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.